The WCA scrambles for Megaminx are really long. Each scramble has 217 to 224 characters, excluding spaces. They can be kinda hard to read fast, and I really don't like how they look because they're so long. However, these scrambles are inefficient with their characters, and they can be a lot shorter. There's a lot of extra information that doesn't need to be in these scrambles, and you can compress the scramble to take less space without losing any information. This is what caret notation does. It compresses a WCA scramble to make it easier to read. Take a look at the signs in WCA. Every plus sign is duplicated, and every minus sign is also duplicated. This is because the scramble is telling you to do a double turn on the layer, but it's not necessary because every single turn is a double turn. Caret notation gets rid of the duplicate and just makes it one sign instead. Now take a look at the R's and the D's. Every scramble always starts with an R, and it always alternates between R and D. If you know that, then you don't need these letters at all. You can get rid of them, and then you end up with a caret notation scramble. I personally use caret notation because I find it faster to read and nicer to look at. But what if we could compress it even more? If we look at a caret notation scramble, most of it is composed of pluses and minuses. This is basically binary, we have a 0 or a 1. By combining pairs of signs, we can go into quaternary or base 4. This means we can use 4 symbols to represent each combination of 2 signs, plus plus, plus minus, minus plus, and minus minus. I was originally thinking of using the numbers 1 to 4 to represent these, but then I had a better idea. Unicode. Unicode has a ton of symbols that you can use in text. One of them is the corner bracket, which looks like this. There are 4 corner brackets and we need 4 symbols, so this is perfect. But why did I choose the corner bracket? Well, you can think of a symbol as two arrows, each representing the direction of a turn. First, you read the vertical line, and then you read the horizontal line. By doing this, we can essentially encode turns into a symbol that's easy to read and understand. This corner bracket means to go up, then right, this one means up, then left, this one means down, then right, and this one means down, then left. So you can kind of see that, in a way, these symbols visually show you what direction you need to turn. Lastly, we leave the U's and the U primes alone. Technically, there's a minor optimization you could do to them as well, but doing so would make the scramble harder to read, so I'll skip that. Here's a video of me actually using this notation to show that it can work pretty well. So thanks for watching this really dumb idea that I had, I actually put way too much effort into making this video, and yeah, thanks, bye.